talking about offensive zone entries, skills, and options here. So as you're get, coming through the neutral zone with the puck, uh, attacking the other team's blue line, are you going to make an offensive play keeping the puck? Is there is there a better play to chip? Um, what are the different skills and things that players are using to get in? Uh, controlled entry with possession of the puck, obviously being the best. So taking a look at some clips here. First one, you got Barzell. Gains the zone, sees that he has a gap. Makes a skill play, attacking the D triangle, and gets a shot on net. We're talking about the skills involved in this. All the time, you when you work on skills with players, you see how he's got the wide base, loads up on his on his uh, left leg there, explosive move to the right. He sees the angle that the defenseman's taking here, puts the puck to space, high quality chance on net. Here's another one. Turns the D with a quick cut back and shot on net. This one, there's a lot more room. When you look up, you see that they've got a gap. When there's this much room in between, green light. Gain the zone, load up your shot. Fire it. Excellent goal. Another one here, so the, the D... Has a gap, but he's not moving fast enough, right? So the player with the puck has a uh, distinct speed advantage. You look to make a quick power move wide and keep your feet going. Look at the crossovers the entire time. These are the things you work on all the, all the time in practice and skill development sessions. As soon as he makes that move to the outside, that wide stick handle, it's just keep your feet moving. Cross, 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 inside shoulder, cuts the net. Another one here going wide. There's a tight gap by the D. Good stick. Right? One on one. Nowhere to go. Protect the puck. Keeping it out wide with a good push out. You can look for a shot for a rebound. Here he's looking to pick a corner. Uh, a lot tougher of a, of a shot to score on. But uh, getting the puck to the net is never a bad idea. Especially from a bad angle. And you got another one here. This is excellent clip. Looks up. D missed times the poke check. It's right at the blue line here that the move is going out wide. Power move, one strong push, and cut in. Wide base, push, drop your shoulder and cut in. Things you work on all the time. There's a practical opportunity to use it in a game. Great crossover, protect the puck, great stuff. Here you got a middle entry, so skating the puck right through the middle, forcing um, the other team to open up some holes and things, because someone's going to have to step up and make a move uh, if you're coming through the middle. This is a good kick out, you got a wide drive, once again, protecting the puck, putting it out to an area where the defenseman can't get it, shielding it with your body, following the play to the net. Cashing it on a rebound. Here's another one that's right through the middle. It's a kick out and a drive. So you want to have some things with your teammates that are somewhat predictable uh, off the rush because these are the great opportunities. You don't want to do things way outside of the, of the box here and, and make it more difficult for your teammates. So this middle drive to a kick and then drive through the middle. This will force the defenseman here to make a decision. Is he going to take the player going to the net, leaving this area open for the high man? rush opportunity and you're looking for the play through the middle here once again sticks available skill play putting the puck out to space out to space kick out and drive two opportunities that this would have could have been shipped in right here being one of them when he picks it up again here keeps possession kick out shot on net with a drive So this little ladder play here, there's a middle entry again. He's coming through the middle of the ice. The D have good gap. Kick it out wide. This little touch off the boards. Take a hit to make a play is excellent. Two guys on one. Great delay, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Goal. Now, not all the time can you skate the puck through the zone. Sometimes the defensemen do an excellent job of standing up, 
having good gap, having good stick, like they do here. So this play by Kalorin, it's not a full dump. It's not a, it's not a chip down below the goal line. He's just putting it out into an area where the defenseman needs to turn and try to make a play on the puck. He can't just uh, make body contact here. That's a very frequent uh, penalty for interference, right? So he's going to chip it to space, force the defenseman to keep skating, gets a shot on net. There's another read here. So it comes up, even two-on-two two rush. There's not a, lot of, not a lot of space for him. D does a great job as a good stick, chips it in, and gets behind him. Sometimes you just got to chip and chase and get to work, especially on a scenario where it's a two-on-two two like that. If the D have good gap, then you can get it in behind him and use your forward momentum to beat them. This one, there, it's even less, right? So there's no room here. There's a tracker right on him. He knows he's got driver. And this is a perfect chip. Soft chip in the corner. Allows the forwards to get in and establish their forecheck. Another way to enter the zone. This one, after the puck comes through, the forwards have ran their route. The D were a little late on making the pass, which happens. It's fine. Now we're going to see a long rim where everyone's standing still. It's going to go all the way around the boards giving Tampa Bay an opportunity to recover the puck. That's a great work on the entry. Get a chance to go forecheck. Now we're talking about delays and cutbacks and things like that. Uh, so you'll see it a lot more frequently now in the NHL. There's, in all levels of hockey, when you can take your time with the puck and not give it away and possess it and use your skills to protect it, these things are the best. So rather than he's at the end of a shift, Braden Point, he can either just dump it in or rim it around. He's going to come in here, see that he's got no play, cut back, He's looking for any options. There is none. He wants to change. He can play this back down low. Usually you'd have another forward maybe into the play if he's already completed his change. So the two forwards would change on the, on a chance like this, a rush like this, rather than just dump it in. Little cutback and delay. Possible chance to recover the puck in the offensive zone. They don't here, but that's the thought process behind it. And you got a, a, a delay with an east to west. So there's free ice here all the way in this area. D's doing a great job stepping up. There's really no play unless, unless Kucherov can just skate to the middle and get a shot. But by taking this area of the ice and protecting it, he allows his two other teammates to get into position to help him offensively. Rather than just skating straight in or chipping it to the corner, and he'll be the only one to forecheck, by going across the blue line like this, it gives guys opportunity to get into spots inside of the defenseman and recover the puck. A little bit of a delay and now they got possession, full possession in the offensive zone. There's another one that's a middle entry, but at this point there's no play. This is a one on three. So rather than just get rid of it or try to try to go rogue, it's a little bit of a skill play. Protect the puck. Play to the middle. Now the picture looks a lot better with that delay. You got the puck carrier and two wide options. Chance on that. And this one's the best of them all. Off a stretch pass. There's a zone entry where he looks up. This could be a bad angle shot. He could score from there. But the delay, cut back. Then the defense has to make a read. Yeah, one guy jumping, another guy jumping. And then player going to the net. Opens up this area up here. Nice little cut back. And by taking the time and allowing the play to develop, you got a wide open look from the slot. Goal. There's a few options for entries um, in the, into the offensive zone and different different skills to work on to be able to achieve a controlled entry as frequently as possible.